Good morning, family. Happy Saturday. Um, you know, I just was sitting out here just in the presence of God, just listening to the nature, just thinking about His goodness and all the, the good things that He's done for me. And I know He's just getting started with me as I'm, you know, carrying on on my journey with God, you know, step by step one step at a time the bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered so one foot in front of the other you know just journeying with god just following after him and um i was just sitting here thinking about you know being led being led by him you know god sent jesus christ to die for the sins of the world for our sins so that we can have an opportunity to be saved. He saw that we had no no chance of being saved. So he sent Jesus Christ to die a life for a life. He sent Jesus Christ life for your life. In my life. And you know, I just I thank him for for knowing me ahead of time and knowing that I would need Jesus to come, you know, and shed his blood for me so that I could have an opportunity to walk on this journey with God. And um, we have free we have free will. We have free will to make our own decisions. But the choices that we're making is are we going to choose to make the choices that God wants us to make or are we going to choose to make the choices that the enemy wants to make wants us to make. So it's so much harder to make the choices that God wants us to make because it goes against everything that we see going on in the world. God created the world, but the enemy has come and just corrupted the world. So everything we see is a battle. Okay, is this God or is this the enemy? And a lot of things to do with God, you know, we can't see God. We have to have faith and believe that God is real. Believing in God is faith. Believing in the unseen. We haven't seen God. I mean, we've seen his creation, but we have not physically seen Jesus Christ sitting beside you talking to you, to the natural eye. So it, it makes making decisions hard. And the enemy will set everything in front of you. Everything in front of you is, is at your feet. Like, here, you want this? Here, you want that, you want cars, you want to fit in, you want to look like everybody, you want the house, you want this. All you got to do is give me your life. God is just, I said it already, I, I'm the same God that I, that I was yesterday. I'm going to be the same God today. I'm going to be the same God tomorrow. God doesn't change. God doesn't change based off of. God is not moved by material things. He wants us to live abundant. He wants us to have the, the desires of our hearts. He wants to reward us for being obedient. But God is not moved by a car. God is not moved by big houses. God is moved by faith. Are you going to do what I told you to do even though it goes against everything that's going on in your life? Are you going to ask my permission before you make a decision are you going to love your neighbor are you going to follow my commandments you know so it's two different walks that we're walking that we can walk and i wanted to talk about being led because that's something that i i have had in the past an issue with when god puts it on my heart to do Sometimes I want to argue with him like, God, why do you want me to do this? I can't do that. God, I can't do this. I'm, I'm afraid. Like, I don't want to go stand up for myself. I don't want to tell people about God. I don't want to get up on stage. I don't want to do, I don't want, I, 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 me, me, me. So, whenever God will put it on my heart to lead me to do something, so I have a blog on Facebook and I'll I'll write a post every day just about what I'm going through. But sometimes he's like, "Okay, I want I really want you to share 
I want you to really be transparent and expose yourself. And I'm like, I don't want to do that because I don't want people to look at me a certain way or like feel some type of way about me or judge me or I'm just afraid of what people are going to think about me. And God is like, it's not about what people think is about you. It's what I told you to do. And the very people that you think. You know, the very people that you think are judging you are the people that, that are waiting to hear it, have been praying about it. You know, we we don't hear everybody's prayers. We don't know what the next person has been praying for in their lives. They can be praying for somebody to be transparent, share their story. You never know what that person is praying for. You never know what the person next to you needs. So when God says it, it's a purpose. Even if just one person needs to hear it, if God says it, you do it. Because his ways, his will, is not our ways and our will. God does not, timing is not, I mean, timing to us, we we just, we got to have this by a certain time. We got to do this by a certain time. I got to have to, that doesn't, God is about purpose. He's trying to get his children saved. He is trying to take us higher in Him. God is, time is, 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 He's the author of time. You know, we, sometimes I feel like, well, if I don't do it by now, I'm going to miss out on something. But God will never keep anything, you know, good from me. So if He's leading me to do something, maybe I needed to miss out on that. So when you're being led by God, his will and his way, when he does it, he's doing a million, like so many things with one post. So many things. And my little bitty thinking is like, I don't want people to judge me. But then I, I thought about it and I prayed about it and I was like, what if I wrote something and then that person read it, who shared it with her sister, who shared it with her mom who shared it with her pastor, who gave him a revelation. Like, that's how God is moving. It's a ripple effect for God. But you and I can stop the ripple effect if we're, we don't be led, if we, we put ourselves in and we're blocking what God is trying to do. God is a man of purpose, destiny, love. I mean, he's loving his children, but he's using us. He's using us. He's using our boldness. He's using our 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 mouths. You know, he's using he's using our body language. He's using us to show someone who been praying. How can I get to God? So if you're constantly fighting God with the things that he's called you or asked you to do, and then here's another thing. And then I'll be like, you know what, God, I don't want to do this. Well, I get upset if he like, well, give it to somebody else to do it. No, 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 God, don't give it to nobody else. I'll do it. <laughs> you know, can you imagine if God took your gift from you and gave it to somebody else to do? God took your purpose and said, you know what? You don't want your purpose. You don't want to do what I asked you to do, but somebody else is willing to do it, so let me give it to them. Oh, you being your feelings. Like, God, you don't want to use me. <laughs> well, I have. God, you don't want to use me. No, you can use me, God. So, there's so much power in being led. Another beautiful thing about being led is it brings out things that are inside of you and me. It brings out stuff that's inside of us that we never knew we had. I never knew I had these gifts. I never knew that I could do this. I never, I never see myself sitting outside talking to my family like this. Never. God put it on my heart. I shared it with a man of God. He said, you got the green light. And I said, okay, do I just sit out and do it? God, if, if God brings you to do it, if God brings you to the situation, if God brings you to the moment, if God brings you to it, it's it's going to be him and only him that's going to get you through. You don't have to worry about how is this going to sound. Are they going to receive me? Because if you're doing it for God and you're being led for God, 
people are going to receive you. If, if Because it's God who's doing it. It's not even you who's doing it. You know, we look so much at ourselves like, okay, it's me. I got to do this. I got to be like this. No, just when God say it, you do it because God is going to be behind you and it's going to be him who's doing it. You just being obedient. You know, this recent situation that I've been in, it's been like everybody's been against it. But God was like, nope, this is what I want you to do. It was on my heart to do it Be in the beginning. It's on my heart to be this way still. So many people are against it. So many people feel some type of way, but God said it and I'm going to be obedient. And I know in, in that kind of faith and that kind of being led can take you places in God. So if you want to increase in God, yes, prayer, much prayer, meditation, surround yourself by people that walk like you and talk like you. And be led. God, God will lead you to someone that he'll put on your heart that he wants you to share your testimony to that person. Then you're going to be like, I don't want to share. I don't want to tell them what I'm going through. I'm going to look foolish. I'm going to, I, I, I. You're going to have to pray. I'm going to have to pray and, and die to myself. Let go of myself so that God can have his way. Because when God tells you to share your testimony with someone else, they're fighting the same fight that you're fighting, if not worse. And it's your testimony that's going to encourage them to keep walking with God. Don't hold back. If God tells you to do it, just don't hold back. If you're having some feelings and it's, and it's, it's frustrating or you're having some self-feelings, pray about it. Pray about it. It's bigger than you and I. This walk, the God, he's so much bigger than you and I. And he's, and he's coming back. And he's trying to get his children saved. He's trying to get his, his kids saved. He's coming back. He's trying to show himself to everybody. And he's using you and me. And if we don't be led by him or we don't follow him or we hold back or we're fearful or we're allowing the enemy to come in and shake up our minds, we're going to stop the movement. Ask yourself, do I want to be a part of the movement of God? Do I want to walk with him? Do I want God to use me? God gave you the voice to sing. God gave you the hand to write. God gave you the tongue to speak. For his glory. And once again, you're going to go through, we're going to go through some situations. We're going to go through some situations because God is going to pull us through. And we have to testify without no test. There can be no testimony. Hold tight to God. Hold tight to Him. Let Him lead you. It's going to be some, some sticky situations that you're going to find yourself in. But let Him lead you and let Him lead you through it. Because He's taking you higher in Him. Change your thinking. This is for the glory of God. This is not about me. I'm here to serve the Lord. I'm here to serve his children. We're here to serve each other. And the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I just want to encourage you to be led. If God says, share it, share it. If God says, tell it, tell it. If God says, go, go. If God says, be still, be still. If God says, be silent, don't say anything. It's all for purpose. If God says leave your job, leave. When, when he puts it on your heart, leave your job. Quit your job. Then two days later, now you all confused and discombobulated. And you asking everybody's advice and opinions. 
everybody's not, it's not them who's going to get you through it. It's not them who's going to get you a new job. It's not them who's going to provide for you. Follow God. If God tells you to walk left, walk left. He's taking you higher. He's increasing you. He's increasing me. And it's and it's it's an everyday thing. It's a battle and it's an everyday thing and it's a constant. That's why it's important that we have to be in secret prayer. We have to be in prayer. Pray. Demonstrate the faith. What did God say? Do that. It, it'll it'll cause you to get delivered. It'll kill the demons that you have on the inside of you by being led. Just straight being led will kill some of the demons inside of you. Sometimes God will lead you to do something consistently because he wants to teach you consistency. Do it. Be led. Follow God. And he will direct your path. He will never lead you into a place that he can't get you to. And everything that he does is all works together for your good. So in the end, you still win. In the end, you still have the victory. Follow God. In Jesus' name. I love you guys. I'm going to pray for you all. And I hope that today is a day that you just rise up and say, I'm going to follow you, God. What is it that you want me to do? Surrendering my will to you, God. Father, Lord, I just love you so much, God. I just thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have made just for me and my family, Father God. Lord, we're going to rejoice today in all the things that you have done, Father God. Lord, we are ready to go to a new place in you, God. We are ready to submit our lives to you, God, and surrender our will, God. It's not about us, but it's about you and your glory, Father God. I thank you for using and choosing us, Father God. Show us the way, God. Make the request plain father god god i rebuke the enemy right now in the name of jesus as he comes to try to stand against us and tries to cause confusion god i rebuke that in the name of jesus father god i pray that somebody rises up right now and and seeks use for purpose and for direction and for instruction father god lord help us to better ask for permission god help us to surrender our will to you oh god Help us to continue to walk upright, God. If we fall, God, help us to get back up in your precious name. Father, we love and adore you, God. Thank you for the many blessings, God. You are just, you are the greatest blessing, Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray that you continue to walk with us. Continue to carry us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Go on. Be led. Be great. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next Saturday.